Good evening, and welcome to the 58th Annual Commencement Ceremony at Governor Livingston High School. I ask you to join me in welcoming our Board of Education members and District Administrators, escorted by the Governor Livingston Bike Pipers. From the Central Office and members of the Board of Education, Mrs. Judith Ratner. Mr. Scott McKinney, Mr. Doug Reinstein, Mr. Bill Cassano, Mr. Robert Chin Chuli, Mr. Gerard Crescenino, Mrs. Helen Kirsch, Ms. Christine Riley, Mr. Dennis Smalley. Mrs. Jean Parker, Mrs. Donna Felizola, our building principals, directors, and supervisors, Mr. Robert Nixon, Mrs. Tara Oliveira, Mr. Larry Side, Mrs. Ashley Janosko, Ms. Ann Clifton, Mr. Michael Scarra, Ms. Michelle Gardner, Mr. Frank Geiger, Mrs. Grace Acosta, 
Ms. Patty Gasparini, Mr. John Morrisseau, Mrs. Jessica Nardi, Mrs. Ann Corleyhand, Mr. James Finley, Mr. Steve Hopkins, Mr. Kevin Mora, Ms. Laurie Scott, Mr. Drew Ziabro, Mrs. Ratner, Mr. McKinney, Board of Education members, members of the Town Council, parents, family, friends, faculty, and guests. I welcome you all to the Governor Livingston High School graduation program and would like to ask you to please rise and direct your attention to the flagpole where Nick Zambrata will place the ceremonial claymore into the rock. The students will then be led onto the field by the senior class advisors, Mrs. Dybar and Ms. Toporek.
Graduates and guests, please rise and remain standing as James Patingala will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. He will be joined by Anna Rodriguez, who will sign. Then, please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem by the Governor Livingston Choir. Gentlemen, please remove your caps. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem. At this time, Senior Class President Nick Zambrata will present the class gift to the school. On behalf of the Class of 2018, I would like to present the Senior Class Gift, which we have decided to use to support various clubs, funds, and initiatives that have impacted our time here at Governor Livingston. $2,500 to the Isadora Cyber Scholarship Fund, $500 to the Environmental Club, $500 to the Interact Club, $500 to the Yearbook Club, and the balance of our account, $1,224.29, we would like to donate to the GLPTO for Cool the Schools campaign. Finally, as we say goodbye to our Governor, our Governor Livingston, the class of 2018 offers a special goodbye to our retiring staff members. Ms. Beth Rezac, Ms. Phyllis Hugh, Ms. Doreen Ladinsky, Ms. Martha Finch, Ms. Carol Regal, Ms. Trelane Yanuzzi, Ms. Arlene Emmy, Ms. Georgia Smith, and Ms. Grace Penabad. We thank them for making Governor Livingston a special place and wish them a long and happy retirement. Thank you, Nick. At this time, please welcome back James Patingala, who will present the commencement address for the class of 2018. Welcome, Mrs. Ratner, Mr. McKinney, members of the Board of Education, Mr. Nixon, Mrs. Oliveira, Mr. Side, faculty, family, friends, and fellow graduates. To my classmates, here we are. Look around and take in this moment. Exactly 1,386 days ago, we walked through the main doors of GL on our first day of freshman year. We've spent 720 school days together, 
719 weekdays, and one Saturday. To me, 720 days seems like such a short amount of time to account for everything that's happened during our four years at Governor Livingston. So here are some numbers that I think do us a little more justice. There are 278 members of the senior class, five sets of twins and one set of triplets. We've bundled up in the cold on 17 snow days. Our sports teams have earned nine sectional championship titles. We've grinded through eight weeks of advanced placement testing, perused through 14 volumes of the Highlander, put on eight theatrical productions, been guided by two principals and three assistant principals, and some of us have even maxed out at 72 absences over four years. <laughs> to, the, to those of us that have, I'm glad we all made it here today. Those numbers tell you a little bit more about the class of 2018, the 58th class to graduate from GL, as we now go off to more than 100 universities next year. Even so, these numbers don't tell the full story of how we got to where we are today. So how did we get here? I'd like to first point out that we're the only class whose births will have spanned two decades, two centuries, and even two millennia. In our lifetimes, we saw the sun blacked out by the moon, felt love and loss for a gorilla, reached new horizons with a rocket past Pluto, and have witnessed not one, but two royal weddings. But a lot has happened within the walls of GL as well, even though no one wants to remember life as an underclassman. I know, it's weird to think about a time before open campus, but in reality, this was a time when we experienced many of our GL firsts. There was the first time Ms. Leahy called you out in class for not knowing an answer. The first time you failed one of Mr. McGee's physics tests. The first time you mistook Mrs. Tallarico or Mrs. Szilagyi for a student. The first time someone called Mr. Hanratty professor or the first time you watched Mr. Hess calibrate the active board for the third time that period. As we found our ways in ourselves on the journey from freshman year to now, the teachers at GL have both entertained and educated us during our years here and have definitely made our time an experience to remember. And what have we experienced in our short four years? For starters, I hope we can all say that we learned something. Whether it was about a character in a book confronting society, a method of integration being applied to physics, or a lesson in treating others with compassion and caring, we're leaving this building a little smarter than we entered, both as scholars and as human beings. Further, we've changed. It's a fact of life. We've seen so much drastic change since 2014. For example, we've engaged in divisive nationwide dispute over whether it was blue or gold to whether it's Yanny or Laurel. And I don't know about you, but I'm glad I don't remember the 120 pound five foot five freshman version of myself. But if I ever need reminding, I just look at my brother Lewis. <laughs> Whether we're taller, stronger, trendier, or more knowledgeable than our freshman selves, we've grown into visionaries itching to take on the world and the experiences it has to offer. Finally, I think we've all been motivated and emboldened by the support we've gotten from GL and from each other. Members of our grade have become EMTs, won film festivals, designed clothing lines and body jewelry, conducted scientific research, directed professional actors, and have done much more in sports, the arts, engineering, travel, you name it. Don't let these speeches and this ceremony be your only source of inspiration for the day. Instead, I ask you to talk with at least one of these students up here and let yourself be inspired by the passion and drive to not only have such powerful and specific goals, but also to have the ambition to go out and achieve them at ages 15, 16, 17, when the world might not be ready for us. But we are ready for the world. When I look around at my graduating peers, I recognize how much we've been through together. Some of us old friends since kindergarten and preschool, and some of us just meeting this year. We've experienced so much over the past four years, from the power outage to the prom, from Friday Night Lights to flying on stage, something I would personally recommend doing at least once in your life. So, as we all go off on different paths, I ask of my classmates one thing. Embrace the diverse opportunities that will present themselves to you. The Platinum Award at Claymore will hold our memories as we look back on high school, and it's one of the many things common to all of us. But the commonalities end here as we go off into our own lives, bringing with us the character we've developed at GL while leaving room for so much more. 
I believe the legacy our grade leaves behind is our initiative, drive, and pioneering spirit, or should I say Highlander spirit, because we are not pioneers. We look not outwards at what others have to say or what the chances look like. Rather, we reflect inward and let our goals and ideals propel us through life. I commend every member of the graduating class and implore you to not let your passions go unrealized, to embrace the change and uncertainty that the future may bring, and to never, ever pass on an opportunity to seek success. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2018. Thank you, James, for your thoughtful remarks. Parents, families, friends, Board of Education members, faculty, administration, and honored guests. Welcome to the 58th Governor Livingston High School commencement ceremony. Tonight we honor our 2018 graduates and award them diplomas for meeting the standards established by the State of New Jersey and the Board of Education. As has become the norm for us here at GL, our students have far exceeded these requirements and expectations during their time together in our schools. That said, we should never take these achievements for granted. So tonight, we are lucky to be together as we celebrate all that our seniors have already accomplished in their young lives. And at the same time, look forward to their promising futures as we send these young men and women into the world. I want to extend my thanks to the tremendous faculty and staff here at Governor Livingston High School. They do a great job working with our students and support them in so many ways. Our students are certainly lucky to have you. I'd also like to thank Johan, our head custodian, and his team for all that they do, particularly with the setup for this graduation ceremony. Finally, I'd like to thank my administrative team, Mrs. Oliveira, Mr. Side, Dr. Janosko, Ms. Hayes, and Ms. Clifton. I'm extremely fortunate to have such an amazing team that works tirelessly day and night. So here we are. It is with a great deal of pride that I stand before you with these tremendous students on our beautiful campus. These students before us represent a graduating class that has established itself as one of the highest, if not the highest achieving class ever to come through our school. I'm astonished when I reflect upon the following accomplishments of the class of 2018. They boast four national merit finalists. They took more AP tests than any other class and they passed at a higher rate. Our students were accepted and will be attending some of the finest colleges and universities in, the, in our nation. And if you think I'm just saying that, consider this statistic. Villanova accepted roughly 1,000 of its 22,000 applicants this year, or one out of every 22, right around 4%. But 13 GL students were accepted at a great rate than 50%. Students from the class of 2018 set school records in track and field. One was selected in the Major League Baseball draft. Another rolled into the prom in an epic monster truck. Well played, Vic. <laughs> Others soared on stage with the cast of Peter Pan or a part of the production of Sweet Surrender that earned an astonishing six nominations at the Montclair State University Theater Awards program. Their efforts forced us to think as we experienced the days of realization this spring. And as we have put a great deal of attention towards school security, this class welcomed our Class 3 officer, Mark Stallone, to our building, along with the security vestibule. These students have made an impact on GLHS and our local communities. They have endured change and loss. But this past March, they also made sure that the world heard their voices when they took part in the National School Walkout Against School Violence. They said, not us, not here, not now, not ever again. We listened. We listened and I hope the rest of the world did as well. It is this type of leadership that the class of 2018 exhibited to us that tells me that these students are ready. Their eyes are open and they understand far more than degrees and classes. These students are truly ready to make a difference in our world. So I'd like to share just two thoughts with the class of 2018 tonight that hopefully they'll understand and take with them as they explore whatever it is that comes next for them in their life. First, keep your eyes open. Take it from a guy who entered college as a pre-med student studying physical therapy and now stands before you as your principal. Life changes. Look at fashion. 
Several years back, I had to come to grips with the fact that I couldn't wear jorts anymore. <laughs> then they tries to phase out cargo shorts on me. Now apparently flip-flops aren't cool. But I think I'm going to hang on to those, as uh, class advisor Stacy Toporek told me, since I'm a dad, those really, rules really don't apply to me anyway. <laughs> but back to my message to the students. New opportunities present themselves to you. Don't proceed through life with blinders, unwilling to consider change or the chance to experience something new. Each year we have a gentleman named Mike Murphy come speak to our senior class. Unfortunately, he was not able to make it this year, but I will briefly share his story. Mike Murphy is the longtime security chief for the New York Giants. If you've ever seen a Giants game, he's the big guy with the flat top haircut that stands next to the head coach at all times. When he speaks to our students, he shares his story, which is one of chance. He was never a great student, and he was never the best athlete. But one summer day, like many of us do, he was walking down the boardwalk when he heard a guy who was sitting on a bench yell over to him, Hey you, come over here. Recognizing the man as now Hall of Fame NFL head coach Bill Parcells, he obliged. The man started by asking, Do you know who I am? Mike replied that he did. The man also asked Mike if he was a cop and if he ever played football. He said yes to both of those as well. Bill Parcells then asked if he would like a job, and the rest is history. The moral of the story here is that you never know what opportunities may present themselves. But if you keep your eyes and your mind open, there are endless opportunities available to you. The second thought I'd like to share is that you should chase what makes you happy. I had the opportunity to attend an educational leadership summit with Mr. McKinney this year, and the keynote speaker was the Dean of Admissions from Southern New Hampshire University. He shared several ideas and concepts about education, and as he closed his speech, he shared that there was one thing more important than any of those previous items that he spoke about. What in his experience and research determined the person's success far greater than any of those other factors was happiness. A teacher in the classroom will be more successful if they are happy, just as a student who feels safe and happy in school will achieve greater. A teacher's welcome and kind greeting as a student enters the room will project a sense of comfort, belonging, and interest. We work hard to create this environment here at GL, and you should work hard to create this environment in your life. Say hi to people. Smile as you walk by. Be happy. Life will present you with challenges, Family could drive you crazy, and work can stress you out at times. But life, family, and work will be your passions. I urge you to pursue those passions that make you happy. So graduates, I know it's hot. I know the sun is probably in your eyes. Maybe you're bored. Maybe you thought you were finished listening to Mr. Nixon. But please listen to this. The world is constantly changing. We live in a very different time than we did when you began attending school from when you started high school, or from when we even started this school year. You have made us proud with your persistence, your determination, and your grit. As your principal, I could stand up here and tell you all sorts of things that you've learned or that people have done for you that have prepared you to be successful. But at the end of the day, it all comes down to you. What decisions will you make? What will you do to put yourself in the best position to live the life that you want to live? You see, when it comes down to it, you have to want to be great. You have to be willing to make some sacrifices and work hard and take responsibilities for your actions. I know this. You are ready for what's next. So move forward with your eyes open and smile on your face. Your dreams are out there. Everything you want out of this life is out there. Go chase it and make us proud. Congratulations to the class of 2018. At this time, please direct your attention to the Governor Livingston Concert Choir and the ASL signers who will be performing in whatever time we have.
Thank you for sharing that wonderful musical selection, as well as your talents with us. At this time, I would like to introduce Mrs. Judy Ratner, our Superintendent of Schools. Thank you, Mr. Nixon. What a wonderful evening to be sharing in this milestone in the lives of our GL graduates. Tonight marks closing time of your four years here at GL. Tonight is the night you go out into the world and continue to make your mark. You have experienced many milestones in your lifetime, such as your first day of school, your concerts or plays, your first athletic competition, promotion exercises, getting your driver's license, even the prom. The GL class of 2018 is very familiar with milestones, both individually and as a class. In true Highlander fashion, these students actually had a police escort on their first day of kindergarten. They shared their views of gun control and school safety with Senator Kane. They set a new record for, I believe they refer to them as Judy calls, more calls than ever regarding weather-related school delays and closings, which led to the first Saturday school ever. Several of our graduates achieved perfect scores on their SAT and ACT. One student attained a gold medal for his work in masonry at the New Jersey Skills Competition, while other students received medals at the Special Olympics. 
Four of our graduates were named National Merit Finalists. One of these four graduates is also a National Finalist for the American Chemical Society Chemistry Olympiad. Our volleyball team won their first conference title ever, and the boys' tennis team captured their very first state sectional championship. One of your classmates joins the distinguished list of wrestlers with 100 career wins, while another has set the school record for most career hits by a softball player with 180 hits. These are just a few of the highlights. Graduates, it is obvious that you decided to create a path to success and leave a trail of significant achievements for other GL students to follow. I hope that when you look back, you smile when you remember these accomplishments. As the history of GL marches on, I'm very confident that these milestones will remain symbols of the class of 2018. But now, I ask all of you to take a moment to think about the important people in your life who were with you for those momentous events and who have helped you to get there this evening. So let's take a moment to thank them and acknowledge their support. And this part of the speech requires audience participation. I ask all of the teachers, administrators, staff members, and board members to please stand for a moment. This is one of the times I can tell board members what to do. These people have had an opportunity to watch you grow and offered guidance taught you skills, and gave you support along the way. They have encouraged you to strive to do your very best and have relished in your accomplishments. Thank you all. I now ask all of the friends of the graduates to please stand. <laughs> This isn't supposed to happen. You're all supposed to stand. When you honestly think about friends, you will realize that it is those who have chosen to share your pain and gently touch your wounds who mean the most to you. They will stand beside you in the good times and the difficult times. Thank you. Now ask the brothers and, gra and sisters of all our graduates to please stand. Graduates, make sure you enjoy your brothers and sisters. Although you may not always get along, you may fight over, I'm sure you could fill the blank with any number of things, still, your siblings will turn out to be your truest friends. Together, you have shared a great deal, and those memories can never be replaced. Thank you. Now, the very special people, grandparents, would you kindly stand? <laughs> Graduates, realize that your grandparents offer you advice based on many years of living and experience. They love you unconditionally and would do anything to keep you safe and free from harm. Thank you, grandparents. And most importantly, parents, would you kindly stand? Graduates, I'm sure I do not have to tell you this, but cherish your parents. They have helped you to become the person you are today. I am sure they feel as though you have grown up overnight. I know that their hearts are filled with love and pride to see all that you have become and realize that you hold the future in your hands. According to Hodding Carter, there are two things a parent hopes to give their child. One is roots, the other wings. Remember to always appreciate the times that you share. Thank you, parents. Uh, 
Okay, audience participation over. Um, I was very fortunate to have parents who were always there for me and support me. They were always sharing their tidbits of wisdom, whether I wanted to hear them or not. But I have come to realize that they provided me with very valuable advice through the years. And although my parents are no longer here, I still remember the most important lessons they taught me, and I thought I would share some of them with you. First, don't worry about what people will think of you. Always do what you believe is right based upon what your heart and your instincts tell you. Secondly, spend time looking out at the world. In reality, your happiness has a lot more to do with how you see the world than how the world sees you. Time is our most limited resource, so remember to keep the proper perspective and don't waste time on things that aren't important. Next, dream big because one of the most amazing things about this life is that dreams can become reality. With perseverance, faith, and a little luck, truly incredible things can happen. It won't be easy, but it's easier than spending your life wishing that you had done something and feeling disappointed in yourself for never having tried. As you chase after your dreams, know that doors you didn't even know existed will open to you. Listen with an open heart and an open mind to those who love you most. You may hear a grain of truth that will later become the foundation of your entire belief system. I remember my dad telling me often that I would only find true happiness through accomplishment. Those words continue to resonate with me because I am happiest when I feel I have accomplished something. On the other hand, my mom drew a distinction between achievement and success. She said that achievement is having done the best that is in you, while success is being praised by others. She would always tell me to strive for achievement. These words ring true to this very day. And finally, always be curious and always explore your options. You never would know where those options will lead you. As I look back on the years that I have watched you grow, and actually many of you were born the year that I came to Berkeley Heights. So I've seen you from the, being preschoolers to now Highlander gradu graduates. And there are a few words from Wicked, Wicked that come to mind. Let me say that before we part, so much of me is made of what I learned from you. You'll be with me like a handprint on my heart. May you always remember your days at Governor Livingston as the best of your life and yet know that the best is still ahead. It gives me great pleasure on the behalf of the Berkeley Heights Public Schools to wish every graduate the happiness of a productive life the respect of others, the love of your family, and continued success. May the future be yours. It is now my distinct privilege to affirm the recommendation of the faculty of Governor Livington High School and the endorsement of Principal Robert Nixon, certifying that the students seated before us have met the requirements of the Berkeley Heights Board of Education and the state of New Jersey for the granting of the state endorsed high school diploma with all its rights and privileges. Berkeley Heights Board of Education President, Mr. Doug Reinstein, I now present the 2018 graduates of Governor Livingston High School for the award of their diplomas. Congratulations to the class of 2018. Having attended several of your award ceremonies in the past several weeks, I know firsthand how distinguished this class truly is in the classroom, on the stage, and on the ball field. Doc Rivers 
A former NBA coach once said, Average players want to be left alone, good players want to be coached, and great players want to be told the truth. Be the learner who seeks out mentors who will tell you the truth. On behalf of the entire Board of Education, we wish you the best of luck in whatever you set your sights on, and we suggest you aim high and learn from as many people as you can along the way. Congratulations, graduates. Thank you, Mr. Reinstein. At this time, I would like to ask James Patingolo and Nick Zimbrata to come up to the podium so that they may read the names of our graduates. Grace Patingolo. <laughs> Louis Patingolo. Jean Sebastian Cruz. Ava Emiano. Jack Haddad. Victor Gadetti the Fourth, Sarah Kelly, William A. Jennings, Nicole Anastasia Beagle, Ariel Yeshua Guzman. Chelsea Deegan. Laura Bacino. Wellington Lopez. Anna Rodriguez. Emma Lindino. Matthew Schumann. Amanda Azalone. Marissa Fudena. Michelle Coyle. Mason J. Bonning. Oman Adriel Cruz Gomez. Yeah. Rohan Shiramel. Yeah. Shayla Fiorella Perez. Caroline Peer. Siddharth Ramsandar. Nicolette Stallone. Aiden D. Malave. Colette Fernolik. Jessica Fernolik. Jacob Herring. Matthew R. Perez Santala. Jonathan H. Wong. Casey Foster. Robert Penna. Lauren Safey. Laura K. Perel.
Tani Markey. Kyle Mers. Karen Amkraut. Antoinette McFarlane. Antonia McFarlane. Lauren C. La Carrera. Katarina Coimbra. Allison Manns. Jennifer Aronow. Jakarta Califani. Edward Sott. John F. Freer. Gavin L. Jakizitz. Javali Kandula. Timothy Kubek. Jack Machado. Mr. Machado. Olivia Machado. Sean Quinn. Allison McGlynn. Quinn Haddad. Brandon Jory. Alex Bernstein. Tyler McCulloch. Kelly Floyd. Gianna Manganelli. DJ Ganelli. Max Charbonneau. Lauren Platman. Jessica Ripperger. Megan K. Karapetrov. Jack Pidini. Daniel Soretti. Jackson Dultz. Nicholas Sirocco. Julian Natelli. Sarah Lalavi. Grace Broccoli. Catherine Grace Zimmerman. Alexis Ennis. Sarah Middlebrook. Carson Ligas. Alexa C. Saldita. Laura Fan. Anna Marino. Sam Oliveira. Jesse N. Oliveira. Christina M. Ferretta. 
Lauren Segalini. Andrew G. Pinto. Brennan Hardina. Gregory Fetter. Brian Gray. Ethan Kahn. Catherine Quinn. Jonathan Nazar. Jason Procaccini. Nikhil Chaudhary. Sarah Pasquale. Maggie Collins. Carmen Shafi. Ashlyn O'Keefe. Melissa A. Kelleher. Samuel A. Bakalitz. Bridget G. Kolendensky. Julia A. Kolendensky. Douglas Litzinski. Louis Di Pasquale. Ashley Echeverry. Victoria Zhao. Constance Gabara. David Acevedo. Angelina Moriello. Julian Valverde. Amanda Boland. Noah D. Luanzing. Maham Sharif. Michael Caprio. Joseph D'Amico. Rose Malanga. Renee Barbosa. Bridget Lynn. Maggie Ann Zecca. Julia Bales. Jamie Belfer. Dana Zalas. Adriana T. Perez Santala. Holly Morgan. Michael D. Zataraha. Gigi Abdallah. Jack Riley. Arezu Shamse Gill. John Cyburn. Morgan Luciani. Shanna Mellon.
Caitlin Knapp. Edna Naflalo. Kyle Wallers. Anna Pasquale. Alessia Denizzo. Annabelle Rudgard. Trisha Lepore. Andrew Dalto. Matthew Antonelli. Jonathan Friedrich. Alicia Wittenberg. Jonathan Patrick Nevius. Kaylee Nadler. Jordan Nichols. Angela M. Benetti. Kylie Cardi. Corey Lake. Ryan Kerker. Liam A. Holbert. Logan Kalishman. Dutam Vu. Gabrielle Simonelli. Nicole Allelu Alleluia. Alexis V. Salambeen. Dante J. Deal. Jennifer Barantes Perez. Patrick M. Wenz. Andrew Nixon. Julia Dutra. Amanda M. Leonardis. Donna Lazaro. Perry Everson. Ava Delargi. Ruben Tyler Zuniga. Samuel Palumbo. Alec Palumbo. Riley Drysback. Catherine McCabe. Jessica Vreeland. Alexandra Pettuccini. Annabella Kathleen Hernandez. Lily Delator. Connor King. Nicholas Kwan. Pascal Youssef. Timothy Blaja. Katie Hughes. Caroline Shea. Yeah. 
Nicholas Stefan Gamboa. Samuel Pyle. Michael Hickman. Alexander Ederman. Deirdre M. McLaughlin. Melissa K. Mahoney. Rebecca Henderson. Melanie Real. Jennifer A. Murawski. Avery R. Rowland. Stacy Berliner. Luke A. Sylvester. Julia Wu. Sarah Miller. Margaret J. McCauley. Brett Thomas O'Brien. Thomas E. Like. William J. Alexander. Gabriella O'Nelly. Emily Anna Ponte. Crystal Villasoa. Lindsay Mondelli. Serena Shen. Bardia Honorey. Gabrielle Barbera. Nicole Salamone. Alyssa Trivio. Catherine Darty. Grace Sang. Michael Stewart. Marissa L. Iosa. Chen Song. Jason Daniel Peprocki. Sarah J. Montagna. Elizabeth Scheib. Raymond Adolfe Angelo Minoni IV. Lily Jacqueline Sanzalone. Tiffany Liu. Eric Lim. Carl here. Rebecca Raiden. Veronica Noel Vitolo. Cecilia Christina Wolf. Caitlin McMahon. Aiden Gallagher. Tara Hoff. CJ Savino. Isabel A. Collins. Jason Zong.
Patrick DeAngelis. Christina N. Montesano. Michael Lau. Cole Wolfram. Dylan Padane. Sarah Polizzi. Iman Azim Rahim. Jared Van Oostendorp. Caitlin Rose Ty. Ryan Monroy. Emily Matrone. Zachary Chuba. Nicole Price. Brent Facher. Evan Reiner. Ryan Texas. Coley Zeng. Joseph DeAngelis. Aaron Lee. Michael J. Macliacano. Brianna Hugh. Stephen Mia. Andrew J. Connolly. Alyssa Lombardi. Nadine Trella. John Jeffords. Kira Ippolito. Riley Romenko. Stephen Hopti. <laughs> Emily Nancy Zayas. <laughs> Emily Radunsky. <laughs> Catherine Park. Daniel Venatelli. Alexander Ramos. Joshua Stark. Stephen Chimay. Nareet Rottenberg. Alicia Shortino. Sarah L. Backert. Nicholas D. Presborowski. Nicholas D. Zambrata. James Patingalo.
In closing, I would like to thank everyone for joining us here this evening to celebrate our graduation. On behalf of Mrs. Ratner, the Board of Education, the faculty of Governor Livingston High School, I would like to congratulate the 2018 graduates of Governor Livingston High School. <laughs>